Welcome to Oz's Online Gym. Today I'm going to walk you through what I eat on a typical Saturday nowadays. It is slightly different than my weekdays and it is a little different than my Sundays. Sundays usually involve a little higher calories, higher carbs, just things that I don't normally eat. And weekdays I normally rush out the door so things or some things have to be streamlined a little bit faster for example during the week since I'm trying to rush out the door I don't really really get to ha have coffee at breakfast or things like that so this is going to be meal number one so whether it's during the week or not I am always measuring and weighing what I'm eating so this is no exception here I have 150 grams of egg whites and one egg I will add to this 14 grams of coconut flour it ended up being 17 that's okay we can live with it and while I'm doing this I'm going to start heating up my pan to this I'm going to add my psyllium husk why because it adds volume to it it helps thicken it up too so I'll go for about five six grams I will add some baking powder again to help fluff it up that's about one to two grams I'm going to now run this through my Nutribullet when it's done I'm going to add this coleslaw or shredded cabbage mixture to it again why just to add more volume to it in fact I saw that in Korea they have something called this street toast which is very very similar to what I'm making here so that's the last component of this breakfast I have my three slices of bread normally it's two slices Saturday I'm just adding one more slice you can just look up Korean street toast you're gonna see it's something very similar I just happened to change my breakfast this way through the years without even knowing about the existence of a Korean street toast and it turns out it's something very similar so now first thing I'm going to run this through my blender you can use a spoon you can use a hand blender I'm just going to use the nurture bullet just because it's faster all right so about maybe 30 seconds to a minute you will see it actually thickened up if you want it a little bit thinner you can add some water or almond milk and mix it better I may actually do that I'm going to mix it and the reason I did that I need it a little bit thinner because once the coleslaw gets in there too it's gonna thicken up a lot more I don't want it to be very thick and dense all right 130 grams that works I'm going to mix this and a little bit more liquid when I add it to the pan you will see the consistency and you can judge how much liquid you'll want to add to this I'm going to spray that pan there you go. I'm just spreading this along this pan so it cooks evenly if you leave it too thick it will cook the outside but the inside will be just kind of raw now it may look like this is taking a lot of time just that's only because I'm taking the time to demonstrate this normally I can finish cooking all this and eat it within 15 20 minutes all right so now it is on high heat and while like I said while this is cooking I'm going to start toasting my bread and I'm going to use a lower setting on my toaster that way the bread is not ready before this is done I have an ounce of cheese and two slices of ham so when I flip it I'm going to add the cheese and the ham and add my peppers and hot sauce over it alright it's been a few minutes let's check how this is going 
the bottom is ready to be flipped. I will spray the top of it so that when I flip it over, that part doesn't stick to the pan. And I'm going to transfer this straight to this plate. Then, keep this plate, take the pan, put it over it, flip it with the assistance of this fork, take the plate off. Now I'm going to reduce the heat to pretty low and come in add my peppers to it. So first cayenne peppers. Next will be some paprika. Next, I'll add some sriracha. My cheese and my ham. And I have a quarter of a banana here that I'll cut up and eat. I will also eat this with this jam. You could actually add some more vegetables if you want, like over this. You can add broccoli, spinach, mushrooms, and then fold this over like so there we go there we go there we go so here it is completed there's my three slices of bread with my eggs and coleslaw mixture and my jam and banana so that is meal number one. So here's a serving suggestion. I'm going to put jam on my bread. Cut up a piece that'll fit on that bread. Put it on there. You can make a sandwich if you want. I like to eat it separately just like that.